Welcome everyone. My name is Dina and I'm from Mark's Group Live and I'm going to be talking to you today about how to manage users in Zoho CRM. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as helping us improve our video library. Here are some of the main points we're going to talk about today. The most important thing to know about a user is that they need to be assigned a role and a profile. We will get into this in a little bit more detail, but at a high level, a role determines what records a user can see, and a profile determines the modules and permissions a user has, effectively what will be available to them to use in Zoho. To help you understand and see this better, let's go into Zoho now. As you can see, we're on the home screen, and what you want to do is go up here to the cross tools to get into the settings. Then go to users, and you will see that we have two users, two active users here in our, in our test scenario. We have a super admin, and then we have a general user or service manager. Now, the first, typically what you're going to do when you set up is set up new users. So if you click on new user, you are going to end up sending an invite. So you want to put somebody's name in, and if they're not there, you want to create a new user. So you get to this box, and the first thing you want to do is put in their name and last name and their email address. And then what you're going to do when you click add is invite them to be a user. As you can see here with this notification check box that they're going to receive a notification email and they will have seven days to respond to that to confirm and to activate their users, your, their access to the system. Now, once you send that invite and you have the name of that person, the next thing that you want to do is select their role. And as I mentioned, the role is related to what records they'll be able to see. And when you click on this search box, you get something that looks like a hierarchy or org chart. And what this is reflecting is the level at which you can see records. So the VP of sales will be able to see the records of the sales manager and the salesperson. The salesperson will only be able to see their records because they are the lowest in the org structure. The sales manager is in the middle, so they will be able to see the salesperson's records, but they will not be able to see the VP of sales. The CEO, being at the top of the hierarchy, will be able to see all of the records because they can see the VP of sales, the VP of marketing, and the VP of service, as well as everybody underneath them. For purposes of now, let's pick the salesperson as the role. The next thing you want to do is select the profile. Now what the profile does is basically decide how is this user going to use Zoho? Are they going to be a marketing person or a salesperson? Since there are so many different things you can use within Zoho, you won't want to bog people down with giving them more than what they need to have access to. So a marketing person may be more involved with campaigns and will not need to see all of the same information that a salesperson can see. So you may want to limit the number of modules that a marketing person sees versus what a salesperson sees. In addition, the profile will also determine what, what level of changes they can make in the system, whether they can view things or whether they can edit it. And typically, most of that editing type work is done if you're at the administrative level. For now, we'll just choose the fallback of the standard, and then you will have both the role and the profile completed. And then you would click add to add the user to the instance. But since this is our test instance, I'm not going to do that right now. Then you can see here you have your active users. We have two. Uh, we have the admin. But then we're going to select now the general user. And what you can see here in the preview panel is that there's a lot of information about, the, about that user. And if you want you to make a change, you can click on this pencil. And then you can edit any of the information here. For instance, this record does not have an, an address. So you can always add an address to, to this record. 
and you can add, fill in as many fields as you want and then click Save. Again, I'm not going to do that now. The other thing you see here is that you can deactivate a user. By deactivating a user, they will no longer have access to Zoho, but you have the ability to reactivate them later and they can then look at all of their existing data. One thing to note about deactivating a user is that it will not reduce the number of licenses your company is billed for. You can only do that through subscriptions, but you, what you will be able to do is reuse that license for somebody else if you wanted to. If you really want to deactivate someone, you would select this red box and then that person would be deactivated. Now, once you deactivate someone, you can always go over to here to the activate users. And here is where you can have user status. Right now, both the live admin and the live general user are both active. But if one of these had been clicked as inactive, you would be able to reactivate them here. The one final thing to know about a user is that you can also delete them. And if you go all the way down under their preview, under the users, you'll see this delete user. Now the thing with it, deleting a user is that they will be deleted immediately and you cannot undo this action. This is important because unlike reactivating someone, they will not have access to their records anymore. So deleting a user again as a reminder, like deactivating, will not reduce the number of licenses. That has to be done under subscription, but it will allow you to possibly reuse that license for somebody else. Again, if you want to delete somebody, you would end up clicking this red box and then you would go and they would not no longer be seen in your system. I'm going to cancel out of this and we will go back into our into our user screen. So just to show you here, when you need to manage anything related to your users, you have your active users, which are the ones that are currently using the system the inactive users, which are the ones that you've deactivated, the unconfirmed users are the ones who you've sent an invitation to who have, but who have not responded to that email yet. And again, they have seven days. And then you have deleted users, which are the ones that you have removed from the system. So just to circle back to where we are and what the key takeaways are, the most important thing to remember is that each user is assigned a role and a profile. And as we reviewed, roles determine what records a user can see, and profiles determine the modules and permissions that that user has. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and please check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or for questions you may have about Zoho, email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you for watching.